Hi Aries, this is Genevieve with Belly Down and Moonbeams. How are y'all doing? I'm doing really well. This is the weekly reading for June 21st through 26, 27, sorry, 2021. And it's a lovely day outside and hot as all get out. Just saying, and my makeup apparently is messed up. I will get that fixed before the next video. So the first card I get for y'all is the lovers. Because this is for you, it's in your place. I'm thinking that it's go saying that you're going to move into a place where you're going to love your life. That you have been making some changes in your life. And those changes are going to lead you to some place that you're really happy. However, on the other side of that, we get the Four of Swords. Which, as you know, is one of my favorite cards. The Four of Swords set is all about a knight when he came back from a war. And wars back then were little people. I mean, they were like, you know... 40, 50, 100 people, not like, sometimes 10, I mean, just a few. But they're not like now where there's thousands of people. But afterwards, a knight would come back and he would lay down and rest. And when he rested, he meditated on the battles that had gone on. And he reflected on what he could have done better, what he could have done worse. No judgment, no recriminations. And when he got up, he wiped those off of him and he went on and it was over. No beating himself up. So, I believe that one of the things that you're going to have to do prior to having this life that's just what you want it to be, or moving into this place where you want it to be, is you have to do that. Furthermore, you get the Page of Pentacles, which is also about evaluating and looking at things and maybe doing some studying on it. So, I think that just affirms it, that you, there's things y'all need to you need to look at prior to having the life that you want. Now we get the Knight of Pentacles. The Knight is also a Pentacles. It's, it's about money or whatever, but it says that there's something you need to learn. I think in this case that you already know what that is. It might be taking a class, like I'm taking the second Akashic Records class. I've already signed up for the third, which is on healing through the Akashic Records. Um, I'm taking a class on hypnosis and then past life regression hypnosis. That's next after the hypnosis course. Because I know these things are all what I need to do. So what is it you need to do? Do you need to take a bookkeeping course? Which I'm lousy at, so I'm going to hire a bookkeeper. Do you need to take a course in English or communication? What do you need to do? And also... It also is saying that you do need to communicate some. You're looking out to see, to see things come back in. You're starting to get the fruits of your labor. And you're also looking towards travel. So I think that you're getting ready to take a trip. Maybe not a big one, but you're definitely getting ready to go somewhere. And finally, we get the nine uh, pentacles. So lots of pentacles here, all about money. But I like the pentacles in that they're generally happy cards. And the nine of pentacles is saying that you're moving into a place. This is feminine energy, but I don't necessarily think it's all about feminine energy here. But you're moving into a place of self-satisfaction, of being pleased with yourself. Now I'm going to pull a card from an oracle card. And we get hummingbird, lighten up. So that tells me that one of the things that you need to do is you're beating yourself up too much. That goes back to that four of swords and that lovers. I think that when things go wrong, you beat yourself up way too much about them. And you don't necessarily have to beat yourself up. You need to evaluate, figure out, okay, what could I have done better? What could I have done different? What do I want to see happen? And then from there, you figure it out and you walk. Wipe that off. Done. Just move on. And you might even want to take some time and come up with some mantras that you say. For example, one of the ones that I am currently saying is, I am a money magnet. Another one that I'm saying is about my weight. I'm saying, I weigh such and such. 
which is not what I really weigh yet, but I'm going to. So what kind of mantras do you need to say to make your life be what you want it to be? Namaste, y'all. If you want to do a private reading, send me a text to 405-512-9400. And we can do a tarot reading or an Akashic Records reading or whatever you want. And of course, subscribe to my YouTube channel so I can keep making these videos. Bye-bye. It doesn't want to stop. Ugh.